Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. We are here at Aldi. I'm gonna try to take you in the store today. I'm trying something new by going in a little bit earlier, getting my grocery shopping done kind of first thing in the morning. So we'll see, maybe it'll be easier for me to film as well. And uh, I'm hoping I do pretty good. I started a list last night, didn't finish it, but here I am. So we're gonna do our best. And I'm trying to pick up things to start working on like Christmas goodies and things like that. Um, so yeah, let's go into Aldi, see what we can find, and uh, let's hope I don't forget anything super important. All right, first up, need some peanuts. Did also pick up a large gift bag because I need that for something. And some white cheddar cheese. Of course, now I can't see anything over this giant bag, but I don't want it to get bent. All right, we're gonna get some graham crackers. There's a treat that I want to try making. So I'm going to get those. Let me know, would you all be interested in seeing some Christmas goodies? I'm thinking of doing a video with that. Let me know what you think. I'm planning on doing a pulled pork today. So some buns for that. A guilty pleasure of mine every year. Port wine cheese ball. Love it. And it's definitely got stuff in it that I probably wouldn't normally eat, but I don't care. So my key today is to take my time and look at everything because I didn't make a very thorough list. So I'm hoping stuff jumps out at me or I'll just buy my normal usual things like bacon. I use these a lot. I'm gonna get three bags because that's how many my hand grabbed when I put it up there. I'm not getting these, but they only have these. They're a specialty item. They only have them at like this time of year, but these peaches are really good. Plus the jars are pretty. I always save them and use them for other things, but this has vanilla and then I think that one's cinnamon. But I definitely recommend these if you like to can peaches. And this one, oh, that has almonds and amaretto flavor, um, but I always got the vanilla. But not gonna get them today. Highly recommend. There's even like a vanilla bean there at the bottom. You can see all the vanilla flux. Delicious. I always find it interesting the random things that they're out of. Like today, the Priano pastas. I mean, they've got these, the tortellinis, and they've got the risotto, but it's just out. But it's okay. I have some still. I was just going to pick some up. But it's just like everything's fully stocked. It's just not that because I want it. That is why I try to always buy things in advance and don't wait until I absolutely need it to pick it up because you never know. Alrighty, so I know I have chocolate chips at home, but I don't know exactly what I'm making yet, but I know that I'm going to need this, maybe two. And I'm gonna get two of these if I can reach them. There you go. Got some things in mind. I think I'm good on baking cocoa. So I think everything else I need, I'm gonna have to get in the Christmas specialty aisle. But I do need dried minced onion because I'm out. I'm gonna buy myself some of this. I make my own vanilla, but I didn't start making it in time and it's not as potent as I would like it to be. So I'm gonna buy this, which is a bummer, um, just to give the stuff I'm making a little bit longer to sit. I've used it already a couple times, but I think it needs a little bit more time of marinating. I also just picked up a variety of these. I like to get organic spices when I can. I can't always, but these are all on sale for $1.99 each. So I just grabbed a variety of those. I had to dig to the back, so didn't film all of that. All right, moving on to some Christmas fun. We've got some advent calendars or an advent calendar. We got a story time collection book. I don't see a price here. Looks like it might be princesses. Yeah, the Avengers. It's a neat little book set. I just don't know the um, price tag. 
Storybook and activity pad. This is fun. Huge. Stickers. A couple different ones I'm not familiar with. Draw and color. Little, little books. Little ones. Smashers. I'm not familiar with these things. <laughs> but they definitely have some good little options here. Looks like some Lego sets. Wooden toy sets, those are nice. Wooden toys are always great because they last a long time. Some squishmallows. Character dress up shoes, these are cute. It's starting to get loud in here. And this aisle's busy. These women's booties are on clearance for $3.69. Unfortunately, the one pair that I'm interested in is these ones, because I could use a new pair of black boots, but all I have left is a size nine, and everything else in my size is just not something I'm interested in, but holy cow, good deal. All right, they have these children's character hat, gloves, and scarf sets for $8.99. Can't really see you. Well, here you go. Here, here's what they've got. Toddler's lounge sets. They're marked down to $6.49. They've got variety up here. These are pretty. Soap and lotion gift sets, $5.99, or $5.69 rather. Different scents. An apron with oven mitt and pot holder set for $6.99. Got these character pillows and blanket sets for $19.99. Looks like they have Star Wars. I'm thinking that's Lilo and Stitch. Hello Kitty. The cozy wearable blanket. They've got the adult and the children's. They're both $14.99. Weighted king size heating pad. $19.99. Well that sounds good right about it now. Got men's plush bathrobes. I wonder if these are the same ones I saw on the other side. Yes, I think those are the same ones. They also have these slippers, but I don't see a price for them. This is exciting. These fall wreaths, mini wreaths. I have it for three seventy four. It's a pretty little candle set. Looks like it's, it says candle for every room gift set. Twelve ninety nine. Cute little baking dishes for two ninety nine. This would be cute to bake mini loaves of bread and like give them as a gift, but they also have it in the mini casserole as well. Nice little Burt's Bees mask bundle set for $9.99. Got some basketball over the door in a multi game center. Got Paul Patrol plush down here. And then this interactive truck and puppy. Oh, and a, a mutant flexible dinosaur something. Got an X shot blaster. I don't know what it is, but a maybe Nerf gun of some type of sort. I don't know. I don't know these things. This is interesting. It's a chalkboard candle. $6.99 and you can draw on them. Wow, great angle. It's an awkward thing to hold up. But $6.99. Neat gift, I suppose. This wooden tree candle is pretty. Many wicks. That is $14.99. Little hand cream gift set. For five twenty nine, got a huge Lego storage brick. I guess it's just the brick with the Legos in it. I don't know. For nineteen ninety nine, then we've got some kitchen oh kitchen trio or vacuum duo for fourteen ninety nine. Some craft kits. These are the type of things that my mom would get. My mom and dad would get us for Christmas. Pottery kit, bracelets. They're only $6.99 each. Tie-dye kit. Metallic 
rocks. My mom always picked out stuff that was, you know, activity type stuff. All right, so there was an employee putting out more clearance to women's shoes. So I told her, I was like, I'm gonna let you work and then I'm coming back to check. So we'll go back there in a second. But we're moving on to the rest of the Aldi finds. This is ornament glasses, $3.99. Oh, these are cute. They've got a little straw on them. That's cute. They got some really pretty patterns. I wouldn't use these, but they're fun, cute. And, ooh, children's eight pound weighted blanket for $19.99. And then these ones for $24.99. I highly recommend weighted blankets. You can look online. These are 15 pound ones. And based on your weight is how much the weighted blanket should be. But well, we just got one and are loving it. I wonder if these are machine washable. Okay, these are machine wash cold, tumble dry, low. These are fuzzy weighted blankets. All right, so here's all the Christmas goodies. Like, I don't even know how to show you all of this. They've got truffles and chocolates, pretzel rings. I thought about getting these to make some goodies in, but I don't have an idea particularly. Love these. If I didn't have to limit my sugar, I'd be getting those. We've got the tins. We've got, I mean, guys. All the things, all the things. Nice, I mean, nice looking boxes of chocolate. They've got Christmas Oreos. I think these ones are just dyed red and this one is hot cocoa flavor. These are pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna go over here. So, They've got some some cozy kids boots and toddler boots, $9.99 and $7.99. Ladies plush leggings. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, scrubber dishcloth, drying mat, $2.99. A red tear tray for $12.99. Oh, actually it looks like they have like a wood or a gold one up there. Plates, doormats extension cords, all your Aldi gear, your adult Aldi onesie. Can I just point this out? Why are there Sesame Street men's sleep sets? I don't understand. And I've got these little tear tray sets. Candles. Gnomes, I think I've showed you all of this stuff before. More kids' toy sets. I think those are $14.99. There's a pretty side for $8.99. Barbies, more fleece leggings, dolls. I mean, you really, really have a lot. So much. These are really cute. These crates are $12.99. I just don't know what I want to do with it, but I love it. And I'm thinking of getting a weighted blanket, having an additional one for down in the living room because I do get restless legs in the evening and have a hard time sitting and relaxing. So I'm contemplating it. I don't think they're going to all fly off the shelf. So maybe next week. If I didn't have a million of flameless candles, I might grab these and mine have a remote, which is great. But those are only $2 each. This is the new clearance stuff they got put out. We got flannel sheet sets, boots, booty slippers. I might look through those to see if they have my size. I found them again. <laughs> The clearance lady saw me looking at it and she's like, if you want it, I'll market for half off. So I'll go for $5. She likes Christina more than me. She's like, I just want it gone. I'll market for $5. I said, yes, please. I'm very excited. Wow. That's a really good deal and I've been wanting one. So I'm going to hang around all day and see what else we can Here's the moral of the story. Make friends with the clearance employees. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, are you waiting? Hi. Oh, my God. You're just God. perfect timing. You know, these, this, she just filled this up. Imagine buying this is all, American made. This is all the clearance. Wow. That is a good deal. 
Well, they are divas. Only one Italian made, I'm assuming. Is that what you were trying to imply? It's no, it's an espresso pot. For $3.50. I know, but first of all, I probably wouldn't use it even if it was Italian. But if it was Italian... At least I could put it on my counter and pretend. You can still pretend. <laughs> Nobody will know. Oh my God. No. We'll know. Corinne, Corinne will, will know. Okay. All right. So I am back. I went to Lidl before I had to be going to filming just for a couple of things and then went to Aldi. I think I did pretty good. We'll find out. But um, let's get into the haul. Let's start with our Lidl haul. I got a six pack of paper towels besides the fact that it says it's 12 regular rolls, whatever. Only six rolls of paper towels. These are so expensive. I need to really start using them less. I hope that they have the big pack soon because that is always a much better deal. And then they had cheese on sale. And although I didn't really need it quite yet, we do use a lot of cheese. So I figured might as well get it while it was on sale. They were three for $5. So I got three sharp cheddar, three Monterey Jack, just our most used um, cheeses. I got some cranberry sauce. We ended up not using our turkey for Thanksgiving, so we ended up having Thanksgiving with some friends. So I have one in the freezer and I will be making it. And so I figured I would just get this because I think my husband would still want this with the turkey when we do get to it. It probably won't be till the new year that I do the turkey, but I figured get it while things are on sale and easy to find. I picked up some tomatoes, we were out of those, and some bacon because it was on sale. So this is the bacon I prefer to use. Aldi has one too, um, but I try to get the ones with the no nitrates added to it. So got that and everything else is from Aldi. I picked up some lettuce, lettuce and tomatoes. We don't do a ton of salads this time of year, but my husband uses them on his sandwiches often. Some frozen broccoli, I just got two bags. Some bananas, I still have some apples and oranges on hand. I picked up a lot of tissues. I have had a cold. Maybe you can tell by my voice. Um, and so I've been going through them extra. So I don't know, I had to restock. I got five boxes of tissues. I got some bacon because we always can use that. I got these brioche buns for our pulled pork sandwiches tonight, which I need to get going in the slow cooker. And I got a dozen eggs. I got some turkey gravy, same raisin for everything else, for the cranberry sauce. I will plan to make my own gravy when I make the turkey, but I think it's always good to have some extra on hand for like the leftovers. I got some minced onion. I got a couple garlic powder, um, cause these were on sale. Some oregano, chili powder. I should have gotten two of these because when I make my batch of taco seasoning, I pretty much use a whole one. Although I rarely use chili powder outside of my taco seasoning. Um, I got some red pepper, crushed red pepper flakes and some cinnamon. Picked up some vanilla, like I said, I made my own, but ideally it has like another month or so before I should start using it. I mean, you can start using it after three months, but I always like to give it a lot longer. So um, anyways, this isn't like the good stuff, but it'll work for now. And then port wine, cheese ball, my guilty pleasure. I will probably buy this more than one time, even though this is fake and processed. I love it. I got a couple bags of blue corn tortilla chips just to have on hand. I have a feeling we're gonna do nachos a couple times this week. I'm thinking pork nachos for our leftover pork. Anyways, I'll get to a meal plan in a minute. Some salt and vinegar and some barbecue kettle chips. We enjoy those. I'm not sure if I needed all of this, but I have a lot of goodies to make. So I got two of the, um, what do they call this? It's not white chocolate, vanilla. And two of the, is it just like milk chocolate? flavored. It's not like real stuff. Yeah, just chocolate. Um, so I got that. I also got these. I mean, these are good by themselves, but <laughs> I got these for a treat that I'm going to be making. Cocktail peanuts. I have these on hand anyway, but I might end up using what I already have in order to um, make the treats that I want to make. Graham crackers for the treats as well. Some white cheddar cheeses for a snack. And this is to be part of like a white elephant gift exchange for our small group at church. I didn't get anything else to go with it, um, but I grabbed these. And then these wreaths that I've been keeping my eye on, hoping they would go on sale. I told you, I think that they were 374, but
but they rang up for $1.74. Super excited. So I will put these away. And then next fall, when I go to pull out my decor, I will be super, super excited about it. I think I forgot to show you this as well. Just a little mini spatula. I love the little silicone ones. All um, Dollar Tree has a bunch of different ones, but this is a nice firm spatula. And there are times where my big metal spatula is too big for things like if it in a crowded pan or whatever. So I got that for myself as well. I think that's the only thing I missed. So this stuff I didn't bring in the kitchen because I'm gonna pack it all up here. I have a, a large gift bag because everything has to go into one. Um, our church does a thing called Angel Tree and you draw tags off of that through an organization that does stuff for, I think for, for, for particularly for women, including single moms. Anyways, I already picked up stuff there. I gotta pack that up for um, a little boy that we grabbed uh, tags for. But this particular mom wanted cleaning supplies. So that's what all of this is, but then I did get a couple of fun things to add in there. Um, I got a candle, I got this hand soap and lotion set, some dish towels and some chocolates. And I do have a couple more things that I need to grab, but um, I did get all of that as well. And I'm just gonna leave that out here because that needs to go with us this week to church and I need to get everything wrapped. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it out here. So for a meal plan, um, like I said, I have a pork roast that I'm gonna put in the crock pot right now. We're gonna have that tonight with some pork sandwiches. I think we're gonna do baked beans, which I already have on hand and some type of tater tot my husband suggested. I'm trying to think of what else he mentioned to go with that. I don't totally, oh, oh, Brussels sprouts. I was gonna pick up Brussels sprouts today to make those for him. I don't like Brussels sprouts. I forgot about that. So I'm not sure, maybe we'll just do broccoli. Um, and then we will either freeze, maybe we'll do and or, maybe freeze some of the leftover pulled pork, but I also have baked potatoes and I love doing the loaded spud boats, like a load of baked potato bark type of thing with the pulled pork. Also pulled pork nachos is so good. So something along those lines, and then we might just freeze whatever pork is left over. And then, um, what else was I gonna make? I was also thinking of doing like tacos. I'm trying to remember why, there was something specific. Didn't have to do anything with the pulled pork. So tacos or nachos, there must be something in the fridge that I was thinking we need to use. I don't know, I didn't write it down. So hopefully it'll come back to me or I'll mention it to my husband and maybe he'll know why. Um, anyways, if you're new, we have a freezer full of meat so I am not, I'm not buying that very often. Um, we have lunch meat and rolls um, already in the freezer. So my husband will have stuff for lunches. And yeah, I have a pretty well stocked pantry. So anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, if you like seeing grocery hauls or yummy recipes. I am gonna be making some videos with my yummy Christmas recipes. I'm really excited about them and um, that'll be coming before too long because I think I'm going to make them next week. So that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.